doesn't see industry would like another review after Brighton and another review after that. I think the last thing that the accountancy and the audit industry want to do is actually to reform. And I'm afraid I think your answers reflect that today. We've heard today about conflicts of interest in advising the remuneration uh, committees on the bonuses and at the same time doing the audit work. And that the profit sharing is profit sharing across the whole business and that there is no separation um, between the two. And so you cannot get rid of those conflicts of interest, it seems to me, and to this committee, unless you have a separation of the audit and the non-audit part of the business. It's also the case that the only time that you stop doing work that could prevent, that could be uh, seen as a conflict of interest is when the law changes. The industry never is proactive. It always waits for legislation rather than doing the right thing to reduce these conflicts of interest. The issue of the specially disclosed items and of goodwill, I'm afraid I find quite extraordinary that so much can be put down as special disclosed items and that goodwill can maintain remain on the balance sheet until the company goes into liquidation. It remained on the balance sheet all the way until that point. The last time it was written down was in 2012. You say, Richard Wilson, with the benefit of hindsight, it would have been written down sooner. I would argue that it would be written down sooner if you had better rules and you had auditors who were willing to challenge a little bit more. And I wonder, to all four of you, Paul Craig, Hermione Hudson, Christabel Calling and Richard Wilson, and the whole of your profession, not just your two firms, but also KPMG and Deloitte as well, how many more company failures, how many more egregious cases of accounting do we need? We've had BHS, we've had Carillion, we've had Patisserie, Valerie, and now we have Thomas Cook. How many more do we need before your industry opens its eyes and recognises that you're complicit in all of this and that you need to reform? And I think the conclusion that policymakers will take from today that we can't rely on you to do the right thing and legislation is needed. Legislation is needed to have a tougher regulator and we'll be seeing the regulators shortly. We need tougher uh, regulation because your industry is not willing to make the changes needed. Reform is long overdue and the evidence today makes it clear that that moment has got to come and it's got to come soon. Otherwise, we'll have more business failures and you will be complicit in those. Thank you very much. Order.